approval again. Now from the Tri-State's News Leader in high definition, this is WGEM News at 10. Good evening, I'm Mackenzie Henderson. And I'm Dylan Austin. New at 10, the mayor of Hannibal will soon be sending a letter of approval to Missouri Governor Mike Parson for a study on the Hannibal 61 bypass. It's something that has been a major topic of discussion at City Council these past few weeks and once again tonight. And WGEM's Frank Keeley was at that meeting. He joins us live in Hannibal with more. Frank. Well, Dylan and McKenzie, one vote nay, the rest yes, minus the mayor who was absent today. That's how they voted on sending that letter of approval to the state. Critics of the bypass say that they're concerned that it could drive business away from the 61 area here in Hannibal, but supporters of the bypass say that it could promote economic development and safety. I am not really in favor of investigating the possibility of a bypass simply because it's I, I feel like it's going to take away uh, from people doing business in Hannibal. Hannibal driver Janet Smith says for her it's easy enough to avoid driving on 61. She's more concerned that businesses will suffer if all these drivers are directed away from downtown. It's the same sentiment Hannibal Third Ward Alderman Stefan Franke says influenced his sole nay vote against sending the letter. He says he can't find any evidence of a safety issue on 61 either. Additionally, um, I'm not convinced it will spur economic development. Hannibal's population does not support what we're being told will come when the highway bypass is eventually created. That promise, including things like distribution centers for major companies. Gordon Ipson, who has worked in economic development for around 40 years and is a former city council member, spoke in favor of the study tonight. Because that's all it is. It's a study. It will give them information on which to base decisions down the line. But without the information, they can't make informed decisions. Missouri 5th District Representative Lewis Riggs says it's a win for the region. It's a great day for folks in Northeast Missouri. I think it's a great day for folks in Hannibal in terms of the safety considerations alone. 4,200 trucks going up and down the road every single day. Representative Riggs says he's hoping now with the new gas tax passed, as well as multiple letters like these being sent, that it could become part of the long-term transportation plan here in the state. Live in Hannibal, Frank Healy, WGEM News.